Hello, my name is Sister Carolyn and today I'm going to read to you chapter 22 of God Speaks to His Children. It comes from the ACN's Children's Bible. The chapter is about the people of Israel and their relationship with God. So let us begin. The people want a king. The Israelites divided up the land in such a way that each of the 12 tribes received a territory of their own. The elders of the tribe shared out the land among the families. Each family received enough to satisfy all their needs. Each of the tribes lived independently, but when they were threatened by an enemy, they defended themselves together, and God would grant them a saviour who would lead them out of danger. But then Israel began to find it very hard to trust in God alone and wait for him to send them a saviour every time they were in need. They wanted a permanent leader, a king. Samuel was a judge sent by God. He asked them, do you really wish to bow down before a man, to work for him, to pay him taxes? But the representatives of the tribe said, we want to be like other nations. A king should tell us what is right and what is wrong. A king should lead us into battle. God spoke to Samuel. Listen to what the people are demanding. It is not you who they have rejected, but me. Then Samuel anointed Saul in the name of God as king of Israel and bestowed his spirit upon him. Saul might have remained a good king if he himself had trusted God with all his heart. But Saul did not want to rely on another person, not even God. He did not trust anyone. He became sad and confused. God's spirit was no longer with Saul. So Saul was unable to lead the people of Israel or to defend them anymore. This chapter is all about trust and what happens when we don't put our trust in God. We just heard that the people of Israel found it very hard to trust in God alone and demanded a leader, a king. When they did get a king, Saul, the first king of Israel, he also stopped trusting in people. He didn't even trust in God. He became sad and confused. We then heard that the Spirit of God left him. If we want to understand the message of this chapter, we need to know what the word trust means. To trust in someone means that we rely on them, that we trust in another person's honesty. A trustworthy person is always reliable, always honest, and is always truthful. This means they don't tell lies and they keep their promises. We can rely on them. God is trustworthy because he is always good, he's always truthful, he always speaks what is right, he tells us what is right, what is wrong, and he always has our best interests at heart. Wanting a king and being a king is no bad thing in itself. As we know, Jesus Christ is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. He is the King of all nations. This chapter teaches us that trusting in God with all our heart is essential if we want to be in a good relationship with him. To help us understand this chapter, we need to ask ourselves some questions. Do we believe that God is good, honest and truthful? That he wants our best interests to, come, to take place? If we say yes to all these questions, then of course we should put our trust in him because he is good and reliable. Putting our trust in God will help us to know what is right and what is wrong. He will lead us into battle and we will be victorious because we have put our trust in him. But the battle that Christ leads us into is the battle, over, the battle of good over evil. And we know that we can rely upon him to be with us and for him to be victorious. So, if you want to be on the winning team, then we put our trust in God. It's goodbye from me, Sister Carolyn. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.